I'm just working out some riffs here with the Kubicki Telecaster. This is an extraordinarily heavy warmth body and the Philip Kubicki neck from the uh, Fender. Basically started the Fender Custom Shop. And I just found out you can just see a little bit of an edge of a, a logo there. Also, this is damaged. Somebody over tightened the bejesus out of these. So it's cracked here. That's going to be fixed at some point or, you know, not whatever. Also, this neck feels like really kind of orange peely. I don't know what that's about. So I'm probably going to get that hit with some steel wool um, just to get it going. But it sounds pretty great. I really like it. And this is uh, some riffs, some riff stuff I've been working on. <laughs> jazzy thing in like a metal context like that. I don't want that. I do not want that kind of thing and that thing kind of thing. So I want to go. Anyway. The lost mouth. Anyway, I really enjoyed this guitar. I like playing it. I like having an Esquire style guitar, but with a, uh, this is a stacked humbugger, so that's why it's not any noisier than it is with all this gain. And it's just a fun, fun little thing. Um, so eventually this is a cheap plastic plate that'll be replaced probably with not black. Um, the knobs are fine, but they are, um, I have to replace the tone pots in there also. And, um, and this is kind of cool detail. It has a Roscoe plate, which of course doesn't belong to it, but it does now. And these tuners are really bad. Um, I'm not the person who thinks you need to upgrade the tuners on everything because most tuners are fine and your tuning problems are more from uh, the saddles and especially the nut. But in this case, these tuners are truly doggy poo poo. Um, and the nut, I don't know. I can't tell if this is, I think it was original to the nut, which would mean that it's probably pretty darn good, but I'm really not sure. And uh, besides that, I'm probably gonna hack away at this thing a little bit, um, have some fun get a little crazy and try and take some of the weight off because it's just unbelievably heavy. I have thought about putting this neck, getting it restored totally, and then uh, getting it onto a really pretty Telecaster body where that's like red sparkle, because that's always been interesting to me. Uh, just a beautiful look with a um, rosewood, or in this case, ebony, beautiful dark ebony fingerboard would be awesome. But there's just something special about this one being what it is. Uh, so I think that's what I'm gonna work with. So thank you for listening. And if you care to hear a little more guitar playing, I'll do a little bit more in a different style here. <laughs>
Sally gained out salad. It sounds pretty good. Thank you for watching, and uh, let me know what you want to see next. We'll do more. Bye.